when we talk about the minimum amount of equipment that somebody ought to have, if they own livestock, they have some responsibilities for animal health practices and, and doing those required procedures on cows and emergency operations. It's a lot easier to get a veterinarian to come call on your operation if they know you have some kind of facility to capture and restrain that cow. This is kind of the minimum we think you ought to have, at least some sort of lead up to where the cattle can be brought in here safely, some way to catch your head and hold them steady. Uh, the system has a chain where you can restrain the head as well and hold them in place. Uh, you don't necessarily need a squeeze chute on small operations, but as a minimum, you need a head catch. It allows you to have a self-catch uh, set up as well. If you're working a small outfit, a lot of times you're by yourself, so self-catch really helps in, in that standpoint. This particular setup holds two cows in the crowd alley, and that's kind of a minimum. Some people like to make a real short alleyway leading up to their head gate or chute on a small operation, and cattle always work better in pairs, at least two. So you want to set up a small system where you can at least bring two head in at one time. This type head gate allows you to have a cow right behind the other one that's going to come in. And so if you have a certain type of head gate that opens to the outside to release one, you can't get it closed and catch the next cow. So if you're working in a small system like this, this is an ideal kind of head gate that opens to the side and closes. And that way you can catch the next cow right behind the one that she's leaving. So keep that in mind as you're looking at head gates to put on the end of a little alleyway for an operation. It needs to be one where you can, you don't have any other way of stopping the cow behind her other than the head gate. The open sided system we have here is a 90 degree uh, turn to that tub. It allows you to come off an alleyway and use a sweep to bring the cattle in. I particularly like this angle because it allows you to work from the side of those cattle as they come around that sweep, you're still able to put pressure on them. But the advantage to that is it's not real noisy as it goes around, which is distracting. If it goes to banging and clanging, cattle have a tendency to want to stop and see what that is. So actually I prefer these quieter uh, sweep gates as well. If you're going to use this same system for calves, this head gate works very good because it, regardless of the size, it can catch and hold the head. The difference would be in this system, it doesn't have adjustable sides to it. And so if you're going to be working calves, you still use the exact same system, but you might set panels on the inside of these to narrow it down so they don't turn around. Either that or bring them up one at a time. If you're bringing them up several at a time in this wide a system, they're going to turn around them. Now, five weights and up, gets borderline is where they can turn around. So a lot of it has to do with the size of the cattle you're working on. But as a minimum, this works very good for cows and bulls or whatever you might need to put through on an operation. Calves, I'd look to narrow it some way. And there's some real simple ways to do that. Uh, those are just, if you wanted to do a simple head gate like that, you can also use the panels and stuff that come in the adjustable panel that come on some other chutes perhaps to lead up to this where you can narrow it down very easily. But if I was working primarily cows or yearlings, this would work.